hi guys you're welcome to this video in this video I'm going to be showing you AWS vulnerability on a mobile application and how to exploit it so many a times sometimes rather developers leave um, IDs and secrets on the either on the manifest file or on the string.xml file and um, this is not good practice it's not the best practice so i'm going to show you how to exploit it when it is discovered so first of all we need to go to this link and set up our aws cli so you need to copy this link to um, clone it on your system then afterward you unzip it and you run the sudo command to install it so this is for the linux environment so if you have a windows system you can use this to install it on a windows system or a mac you can use this other link to install on a mac so let me quickly show you how to go about this so first of all you need to go to the application and right here we have a vulnerability of um, secret and AWS ID exposed. So we are going to be using a POC application, injured Android, to demonstrate this vulnerability. So right here it is the flag eight of this challenge. So we are going to set up our AWS CLI by using these credentials that is exposed on the string.xml. So what we need to do here is I'm going to use a Linux environment to do this. So I just have to sign into my Linux. So, okay, now what we need to do is to use aws config aws configure and it will ask you for your aws key id which we can get that from the string.sml can get that from the string.xml so this is the string value for the id we'll copy that i will go to our linux terminal i will paste it here i will click enter then it will ask us for our key go to that and copy the key and paste it here then we'll click enter it will ask us for a default region you can leave this as empty to so ask you for the format you can leave it empty or you can specify it as a json format then you click enter then that's it so we can we've configured our AWS CLI and um, to establish a connection we can simply type AWS X3 AWS S3 list all right so this is uh, so this is our S3 bucket we've uh, established connection using these credentials that was exposed on the string.xml so now what we need to do now is we can copy this file to our local machine by using this command aws space s3 
CP stands for copy, then you specify the name of the X3 bucket. Then we're going to copy it to our desktop, which I specify uh, directory here. Then we're using the recursive um, command. So after that, you click enter, and the file from our S3 bucket will be copied on our desktop. So you can see here completed 19 bytes. So voila, we have it on our desktop. So we're going to copy this to our desktop, and that's that's the zip file on our desktop. So now that we have our file copied to the desktop, we can simply double click it to open it. And I'm going to use Notepad to view the file. So voila, we have our flag here. So this is our flag. We can copy this and uh, paste it here. And submit our flag. So I hope you've learned something from this video. Please, if this is your first time visiting my channel, you can click the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. If you like the video, give me a thumb up and share this video to your friends and your network so that to grow the channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.